under the roof, boys. Catching Ah, Monique, absolument. Oui, oui, c'est magnifique. And I, au revoir to you too. Sounding good, guy. So, got yourself a German, babe. That was French, you baguette. <laughs> so, who is she? Only marketing director of La Maison de Moi. The what, the what? The House of Love. They make perfume. I met Monique on an online conference, discovered they're bringing out this new perfume aimed at the hip-hop generation, and uh, convinced her to advertise it on the Rude Boy website. So what's the perfume called? Aroma Licious. <laughs> if we get this right, we can get other Premier League advertisers on board and have a million in the bank before Danny can say, Eau du parfum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can say Eau du <laughs> <laughs> It's Big Ralph and his crew. He's a man. Leon, Big R. Big Ralph knows your name. Bet Nat, I'm one of his crew. No way. Yo, Big R, what's happening? This place is bunk. We're gonna roll. <laughs> Laters. Uh, can I come? When we need a dweeb for a mascot, then I'll call you. <laughs> What's it gonna be? Milkshake for one? Billy no mates. <laughs> Monique's talked to her boss man, and he's happy for Ruboy to have the advertising contract. I'm a coolio. But oh, I don't like big butts. <laughs> and this is a really big butt. <laughs> Alright, Alex. <laughs> I think she thinks that you meant. I was talking about the advertising contract for Aromalicious. Honestly, Alex. Don't you mean honestly, big butt? <laughs> really need to hear the start of the conversation. <clears throat> from the top, guys. I've just had a call from Monique, and she says her boss man is happy for Rude Boy to get that advertising contract. <laughs> cool, Leo. But... <laughs> I don't like big butts. And this is a really big butt. Oh, I see. So what is the butt? Before she signs the contract, she wants us to boost the number of hit points on the Rude Boy website and at the same time make it more romantic. We could do that. We are the kings of romance. <laughs> and that'd be you, free to help me. To do what? Cows. The only farm animals I like come with a side order of fries. <laughs> Keep our water safe. I've joined an action group that fights pollution. We need volunteers to help clean out a stretch of the canal. I'd like to help, but, uh... Oh, another big butt. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? This La Maison de Moor thing, it needs all hands on deck. No, it won't. And leave it to Mr. and Mr. Loverman. We can handle it. No. This is, a. Uh, Definitely too much for you two to handle. No way. You guys go and have fun at the canal. <laughs> oh, you want... <laughs> What's up with you? I thought you were meeting up with Leon. Leon's got some new mates. So, can't you all play together? Play? I haven't played since I was eight. We hang. Fine, so go hang. I can't. I'm not cool enough. <laughs> Make way, a star is born. Oh, this went well, did it? Oh, it's the same. Simply amazing. I was up for the role of, and get this, a feisty waitress from Leeds whose dream is to become a theatre actress. <laughs> it's me. I was born to play it. So you got the part? Not yet. It's just a formality. The producer said I was a natural. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> I'm going to have to give my notice here. I'll be going on a nationwide tour, you see, and then straight into the West End. So I'll be looking to live somewhere a bit more classy. No offence. <laughs> How could I possibly take any? There's no business like <laughs> <laughs> Well, 
I'll see you later. Okay, Michael. Thanks again. <laughs> What's going on with you and Michael? Uh, he's just agreed to help clean out the canal. Now, is that a good idea? That guy is slimier than any oil slick. What's the matter with them? We're thinking. It's not meant to be that painful. <laughs> We're trying to figure out how to get more hits on the Rootboy website. It's finding something romantic that's the problem. What have you come up with so far? Well, we were thinking about a competition. Sounds good. What about arm wrestling? <laughs> romantic? Mixed arm wrestling. Listen, if I come up with a brilliant idea, will you help clean the canal? Anything. I can see this contract slipping away otherwise. Right. How about a love poem competition? Yeah. First prize, a day trip for two to Paris. That's it. You're a genius, Alex. Do you need to borrow some wellies for your shift down the canal? No. I only had to do it if you came up with a brilliant idea. Now, whilst I agree the poem thing's good, I... <laughs> no. When do we start? We? Yeah. You're going to be getting your hands dirty too, right? Well, <laughs> I did see myself in a sort of supervisory role. No? If you're prepared to go down there, I will too. Oh, tomorrow then. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Me too. <laughs> See you guys. I'm definitely entering this competition, Geese. I'm going to take my Carisha up the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> You'd have to beat me first, you windsock, because I want to take Jasmine. When it comes to poems, you've got no chance, because I'd be the one taking jazz to France. <laughs> that ain't going to happen, no way, Geese, because when it comes to rhyming, I'm the champion niece. <laughs> bro, bro, I might as well put my name on them tickets right now. I'll bring it on, bro, because when the going gets tough, and it really matters. Seymour Franklin be leaving you in tatters. <laughs> I am good. How's it going, Leon? It's all moco, dude. Moco? It's the new word. All big grass crew say it. What does it mean? Oi, Leon, why are you talking to that moco? I don't know. The guy might be cool, but he's no rude boy. So. You don't part of his crew, then? I didn't say that. I just don't get it. How come you're allowed in? Well, you've either got it or you ain't. Don't forget, <laughs> Leon. My brother's band's practicing around yours tonight, OK? <laughs> and yes, OK, I let his brother's band practice around at mine. Do your mum and dad mind? Duh, if they knew about it. <laughs> I'm on a strict, geek-free diet. I'm a hunkatarian. <laughs> I've never had to serve one of those in our flights. You look at airplanes, do you? Then let me put this in a way you'll understand. <clears throat> this is Carisha speaking. The exit doors out of my life are situated over there, over there, and over there. <laughs> Fanny Berry, you're not fooling anyone. Oh, come on, kid, you have to be happy for me. Why? How come everyone gets to move on up except me? Missy left to be a waitress slash actress in LA. You're leaving to be an actress slash waitress in the West End. <laughs> What's my slash? Well, you good at. You know. Oh. Help me out here, what are you good at? <laughs> Looking totally and utterly gorgeous. Hmm. Trouble is, there's no way I'm going to be spotted in this dump waiting on total losers. I need to be in L.A. with Missy, waiting on hunky actors and big-time agents. How's the fund looking? I don't like pay for a bus to the airport. There must be a quicker way to raise the cash. Well, you could always work harder. If you've got nothing sensible to say, Carlton, zip it! <laughs> think what we should think. Hold the fork, girl. I've got some serious schmoozing to do. <clears throat> I missed the flight attendant, sweetie. <laughs> Mum, what are you doing here? I live here. I mean, I thought you were on nights. Next week. Mama, why have you got 20 sandwiches on a plate? I'm a growing boy. Uh, why don't you 
you go to the pictures? You were saying the other night you haven't been in ages. All I want is to take my shoes off, sit down and have a nice bit of peace and quiet. <laughs> I bet I know what your next question's going to be. I know. I'm Moko. <laughs> Stop looking. Write your own poem. I would looking. I don't need to copy you, yeah? <laughs> My love is like a big red nose. You were looking. And it's not nose, it's rose. If you're gonna cheat, at least do it right, man. <laughs> But you more or less promised it to me. Oh, so when you said you'd never seen it played like that before, that wasn't a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Look out, Missy. Commissioner Lopez III is about to hit LA. Brian's just told me you can get me a flighty flight. Just like that? Uh, no, I have to go out with him. <laughs> Listen, he may be the Lord Mayor of Geekville. <laughs> <laughs> OK, the king of Geekville. But he's getting me a one-way ticket out of this dive, and for that, I didn't even date your big brother cast off. <laughs> Who is that on the phone? Oh, the producer of the show. <gasps> he's definitely got the part! Oh, Jess, that's brilliant! Well, the thing is, I... Yeah, mind you, like you said, there was never any doubt. <laughs> You'd have to be a pretty bad actress not to get that part. <laughs> right? Yeah, right. <laughs> Taj, Taj, I need some advice. Not now, Omar. Have you seen Alex? No. Great. It won't take a minute. Taj, I've got to get into Big Ralph's gang. What for? Because he's cool. Omar, I do not have time for your juvenile nonsense. Now, Scoot, because I'm busy. I was just looking at you. <laughs> I can't make it down to the canal this afternoon. I've got an urgent appointment. Me too. We'll have to get together, compare diaries, and come up with another time we can both do. Definitely. I can't wait to get my hands in that slime. Nor me. Now can we talk, Todge? Omar, will you get lost? <laughs> That Brian is. Oh, your first big day. Where did he take you? To an exhibition of underground train tickets through the ages. I left him an hour ago and I'm still bored. No one can say I'm not making sacrifices to get to the top. Jasmine, uh, when are you moving out exactly? Ah, the tour starts at the end of the month, so two weeks tops. Oh, good. Because I've just popped in to say I'm putting an ad in the paper to let your room. <laughs> Only I'm not sure what contact phone number to put in. I can't use my mobile because it's got to be turned off while I'm at the hospital. Put my Great. You don't mind? I insist. You know, actually, I'm thinking of turning this part down. <laughs> Are you crazy, girl? I've already got my eye on a wicked dress for the first night. I just feel maybe I'm not ready. I'll rehearse with you. Come on. Where's the play? Uh, it's in my head. <laughs> well, then let's hear a bit. OK. Um, I lied. I didn't get the part. They said I wasn't convincing enough. That part was made for me, and I still didn't get it. I'm destined to be a waitress for the rest of my life. It's all gravy, guys. Monique says the advertising contract is ours. Kerching. And she's picked the winning poem. Which one of us won? Danny, there were over 500 entries into that competition. The chances of either of you two winning is smaller than the smallest thing on the planet of small. <laughs> Which makes it even more amazing that one of you actually has won. Yes! In your face, Mr. Loser Man. <laughs> I told you I was the champion. Knees. I am the man when it comes to poetry. Seymour, you haven't won. Danny has. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
Oh, he can't have. Oh, what did he wear? <clears throat> my heart is a chair, the sea lion weeps, the sun starts to stare, my soul is asleep. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> What's it, though? This poetry ain't supposed to. <laughs> One day you might learn that, my friend. So when do I get the tickets to Paris? Tomorrow by post. <laughs> I'm going to Paris. You're not geese. I am the champion. Knees. <laughs> Mum, I have to use the computer. I'm working. But this is a matter of life or death. I need to get on the net, like, now. What's up? I've tried everything to get in Big Ralph's gang, but nothing's worked. So I've got to get advice from the coolest guy on the planet. Rude boy. And that's a matter of life and death? I'm 12. What else is important to me? <laughs> I can't use this computer. I'm too busy. Oh, Mum. Go use Targes. But I'm so absolutely not allowed to. You've got my permission, OK? But I don't know his password. Why don't you try Mr Wiggles? <laughs> it used to be Targes' teddy bear when he was little. He thinks I've forgotten, but Mums never forget. <laughs> Jasmine, has anybody rung about the room yet? No, Mrs L. Strange. I thought it'd go really quickly. Oh, that could be someone now. No, it's Carisha. Would you like a cup of tea? I'm making one. <laughs> Hi. Oh, you interested in the room? Yeah, it's still available. Yeah, you could come round tomorrow. The man that's fumigating it said you should be able to breathe without a mask by then. What's in there? Well, you know, fleas, lice, cockroaches. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Mr Wiggles works. Brilliant. Mr Wiggles, eh? That's got to be worth some blackmail points. <laughs> Dear rude boy, I... Desperately need to become cool. Have you got any advice? Signed, desperate. <laughs> Why are my emails come straight back to me here? I'm sending them to Rude Boy. I don't believe it. Can't be. That means... <coughs> You're a rude boy. <laughs> All right. I admit it. It's a fair cop. I'm rude boy, and Mum's really Beyonce. <laughs> to know all you like, this time I'm on to you, rude boy. How many times do I have to tell you, bro? I am not rude boy. OK? Really? <laughs> Perhaps we should get a second opinion from a... Mr Wiggles. <laughs> been on my computer. How did you find out about Mr Wiggles? Little bird told me. Mum. So, do you admit you're rude boy? Look, you mustn't tell anyone about this. What, that you're rude boy or your password's the name of your favourite teddy? <laughs> Both. <laughs> Promise me. Why should I? I'm your brother. Well, you weren't much of a brother when it came to you for help. Get lost, Omar. I think that's what you said. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Being Rude Boy's brother will make me numero uno in Ralph's gang. Dude, you cannot rat me out just to hang in a gang. You're right. I can't. I'll form my own gang, and Big Ralph will be begging me to join. Mama, please, don't make me beg. I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> you know why I do Rude Boy, don't you? To make a million for Mum, so she can put her feet up and take it easy. I'm asking you as family. Don't do this. Rude boy! Oh, hello. Um, can I get anything? Food? Drink? <laughs> Me? God. Carisha Lopez III. The original three times a lady. <laughs> How dare you give me your card? <laughs> Play? Carisha, you're not interested in me at all, are you? You just wanted to get your hands on my freebie tickets. How dare you? But now you mention it, when are you going to give me my ticket to LA? Oh, two dates 
to have been on now. I was practically engaged. I thought you were different, Carisha. But you're just like all the other girls I promised my ticket to. Oops. Uh, other girls? You mean you've been playing girls off against each other? You! So? You weren't honest with me either. I'm entitled. I'm fit. You're not. That's it. We are over. <laughs> Men. I don't want anything to do with them ever again. Starting first thing tomorrow. <laughs> we are dead. When it gets round that Rude Boy's just a 16 year old school kid, confidence in the business is going to drop like a safe. And we'll lose the La Maison de Moor thing for sure. I'm sure it's going to be all right. I'm asking your brother. He wouldn't do anything to hurt you. You think? Yeah. But then again, he does really want to be in Ralph's gang. You've got that song. Oh, oh, my God. God. Yeah. Right, Leon? Big Ralph? Sweet. So, what's this really cool thing you got to tell us? Well... Well... Well, what is it? I'm busy. Well... The thing is... I know who the president of America is. <laughs> what? George Bush. Just in case it ever comes up. <laughs> now you know. Is that it? You're a double mocha. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for me, big crowd. What's your me? Jasmine, you haven't passed on any of the calls about your room, have you? What? <laughs> Why? You're not leaving, are you? What? What? You didn't get the part, did you? Sorry. I was too embarrassed to say. That part was me and I still couldn't nail it. Some actress I am. You mean... I'm not the only one whose dreams have been shattered. <laughs> Sorry. I suppose you want your room back. Thanks, Mrs Hill. I'm pleased you're staying, Jasmine. Oh, thanks, Uncle Carl. And would you miss me? Oh, yes. I'd never find anyone to work as cheap as you do. <laughs> thanks, Carl. I really appreciate you not blabbing. It means a lot to me. Well, like you said, we're family. <laughs> Omar's such a good kid. He's made me feel guilty, you know. We should go help clean out that canal. Really? Yeah. I guess it's only cleaning out a bit of mud. I mean... How bad can it be? Oh, what is that smell? Oh, that is well ranked, man. You all right? Mm -hmm. What's up? Oh, no, do I still smell? I've already had six bars. <laughs> that canal was filthy. No wonder I got a seat to myself on the bus. Michael, this is for you. A row malicious gift set. You need it more than, well, anyone else I know. <laughs> He is like a sewer on legs. Just how guilty are you feeling about this canal thing? Uh, not guilty enough. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, babe. How are you feeling? Oh, that my life is a meaningless black void with no hope for the future. <laughs> and I ain't your babe. Well, these are cheer you up. Two tickets to Paris. For me? Yeah. Ah! Oh, Danny, thank you so much. Oh, you don't know how much this means to me. Anything for you, babe. Come here. Jazz! Jazz! Me and you are going to Paris! No, I didn't mean it. How did that just happen? <laughs> Uh, what's up? Is there a world tea table shortage? <laughs> I can't come into contact with.